Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the performance differences between CMU 1.12.1 and CMU 1.12.2. For all of these benchmark scenes, I use triple core recompiler, GPU buffer cache accuracy set to low, accurate shader model was set to equals min instead of equals true, and the graphics packs used are 1080p resolution graphics pack, FPS++ and the BSOD framerate unlocker. GX2 draw done was also set to on in all of these areas. As you can clearly see, 1.12.2 is absolutely destroying 1.12.1 performance wise, at least in this great plateau area. The majority of the time, it seems as if CMU 1.12.2 is able to actually utilize your GPU quite a lot more. The result of this additional GPU utilization is the increased frame rate that you can see on screen right now. When we bring in some video footage of my last CMU to CMU comparison video, you can indeed see that the performance in CMU 1.12.1 is identical and the performance increase we are seeing in 1.12.2 holds up. Let's quickly jump across to Hateno Village and see what performance is like there. In a similar circumstance to the Great Plateau, we are also seeing higher frame rates in Hateno Village on CMU 1.12.2. However, due to the fact that there are a large number of AI and NPCs in Hateno, we are not going to be seeing as impressive a performance differential between versions. Regardless of this fact, it is still good to see any performance increase at all in a new CMU release. Regardless of any of these factors, for the majority of your gameplay in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, you are not going to be inside of towns. In these open world situations, you are going to see just as much of a performance boost as we saw on the Great Plateau. Let's jump over to my last performance benchmark area, Kakariko Village. So as we have seen in all of the previous benchmark areas, we are also seeing an uplift in performance in CMU 1.12.2 in Kakariko Village. I think I speak for everyone when I say that if you want to get the best possible performance out of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, it is definitely in your best interests to update to CMU version 1.12.2. So that's about it for this CMU performance comparison. Once again guys, cheers for checking out the video. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.